Yo Zers, what up? Welcome back to Judy Z and for today we have lots of news. Um, so I'm really really excited. Real quick we can check these sales that they're actually posting. This is the one where you may just need a little bit or you kind of want to get your VIP higher but without actually uh, wasting too much money just ten uh, dollars per month if you want to do that I have planned on doing that but yeah maybe um, of course we have the uh, the replay packages that go for crystals and these are not really good so do not buy these um, there's the tier 3 packages, I mean if you're a whale and you don't care about crystals that much you may go with this, like you pay a hundred dollars you get 640 CCF which is pretty good and you still get 8000 crystals compared to this where you pay 30 and you only get like a thousand crystals which is not good but you have to compare this with the other a hundred dollar purchase which gives you like twelve thousand crystals so you're missing out on four thousand crystals on each of your a uh, hundred dollar purchases if you if you buy the CCF one so I don't know I really don't think it's smart to do this if you need it, like if you wanna have a lot of tier threes for your uh, YouTube channel or whatever you wanna do uh, for your content, yeah, okay, it may make a little bit of sense, but it's not really that smart to be honest. You finally have the mega six star ticket, or actually the mega rank up package. This is good and bad. Now, if you don't wanna waste too much money. This is good. You get 2,200 crystals. You get a mega six star ticket. You get uh, you get a mega master ticket. You get two million gold. Uh, but you're not getting the right amount of crystals because you're paying for thirty dollars, and you should be getting three thousand three hundred crystals. But that's the trade-off of not having to pay uh, forty dollars because you get the random pop-up uh, package where it's the same as this, but you pay thirty. Uh, or actual now nah, this is uh, 30 you pay 40 dollars and you get 4400 crystals so you get the right amount of crystals as well but if you're not really rich or you're really low on money you could go with this one and it's okay ish you're missing out on half of the crystals that you would get but you're paying till ten dollars less so I don't know you you choose if it's good or not um, what else did we get? We get the potential awakening F, uh, packages, and these are the worst that you can get. For tw for thirty dollars, you get one hundred and twenty CCF, and which is less than what you would get from uh, the other pack, and you get a hundred crystals less from the other pa pack. And uh, you're also you're also getting like three million gold uh, Titan component packs, essence of dimension, and awakening crystals, which is funny. Because like two, or do you actually need these to awaken? I, I haven't awakened at all, so I don't know. I, I think I'll be saving everything, like the awakening crystals, uh, as much CCF as I can get for the time when we get a uh, character that gets his tier three, but also has to get awakened. So yeah, that's the times I uh, I'm actually scared of uh, living in. You know, having to to get like I guess a thousand CCF for just the normal tier 3s because it's 240 to uh, awaken them and then it will be 800 to tier 3 them so it's gonna be expensive I hope by that time they increase the CCF drop even more or they, they give us CCF in other ways as well but yeah it's not it's not good for now um, if you buy the $50 one, you get 3,000 crystals, which is still not good. You should, you should be getting like 5,500, at least 5,000. Um, and you're also getting 240 CCF, which means you can uh, immediately awaken that character, because 240 is the cost. And uh, 560 awakening crystals and 5 million gold. I, I really don't know. I don't know if this is a smart idea, man. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, awakening crystals is not like you're gonna awaken a lot of characters just find the meta and for now it is smart to actually awaken a Dr. Octopus because for now he's a pretty good meta for speed villain day and uh, 
he's a free character basically so you just need to get his uniform and uh, then awaken him and you're done and then focus on using all of your awakening crystals on that guy to increase that skill to max and pretty much you're done like other characters are not really metas so you can save your uh, awakening crystals for the time when you really will really need them um, anyway, we have the tiered item sale as well, uh, right here, this is what I meant by the Mega 6 star ticket, uh, you can get it for 2,600 crystals, so you, you don't really have to go with that uh, $30 purchase, but if you need to, you can go that route as well, sure. Um, you, have, you also have the Mythic Upgrade Ticket, which is not that good, mm -hmm. if it was a Mega Mythic Upgrade Ticket, it would have been nice but okay I guess um, sorry if that was too loud uh, but okay <laughs> somebody texted me I guess um, what is next man there's a lot of posts that they actually held right now um, of course they have the dollar shop event as well uh, I will say I had like I have a second card like an, an internet card where I would use it when I didn't really have a job or when I hadn't had a job at all before and uh, you know I still had like a dollar there but I had to take advantage of that so I was thinking I'd, I'd keep that one dollar and just get some exchange selectors here or like crystals because you're getting 200 for one dollar that's a good deal um, but uh, at the same time I, I really needed that one dollar so I was like uh, I could put in like uh, nine dollars in, and I already have one dollar, so I can get the uh, the shield special support. So I just did that because at at the moment I'm in between jobs. They also called me today as well, so that's good. That's a good sign. Th that means they're not lying to me. I'm just kidding. Of course they they're not lying, but uh, it will take like uh, uh, let's say. 18 more days and then I'll start which means it will take one more month to also get paid which means I'll I really need to be careful with the money that I spend but anyway now what else now we get to the good part I think I think we're we're on it oh of course we have the collector's vault event which uh, it sucks because uh, I, I spent a lot of gold on the gold chest uh, event and then uh, you had the ISO 8 change discount which is still on I think but I really didn't want to spend because I had uh, spent too much already and I don't want to participate here when I got to a hundred a million um, or not a million when I got to a hundred million or something like that um, I, I entered the vault twice and that altogether I think took uh, 60 million gold from me so yeah on the second time I really got close to a mega tier 2 ticket so that was cool but I didn't really get it but anyway that was really really fun and uh, if I ever get that high with gold again I may go in again like if I get to the point where my alliance uh, leader is where he has like seven mil 700 million gold that's when I may step in and just join all of these events because I really like the... Uh, I really like, like, I know it's funny because you're not gonna believe this, I really like these rewards, you know? I was guaranteed all the CCF by the way so I don't mind. Uh, the two times that I joined I got 60 CCF so I got 120 CCF, it was really really good. but. I, I really actually enjoy the type enhancement kits because thanks to that I just jumped from one type enhancement uh, on Thanos and Spidey to like the fifth and then I'm just stuck on the uh, sixth uh, level which really isn't ever gonna be done but if I actually went in and bought these uh, or if I went and uh, tried this event, uh, event again I would get a lot of these again so uh, a lot of the fails would go really fast but whatever what can you do what can you do nothing just just love the game <laughs> I'm just kidding love the grind 
Uh, and I think finally we have the March sneak peek number one. This is insane by the way. Um, I checked this yesterday. I mean, I, I didn't check it yesterday. I just got woken up by it because uh, some some of the star agents were going crazy in the chat. They were like, uh, sneak, peek, "Sneak peek one is out, guys!" Blah blah blah. Check it out. So this is it. This is a fragment of Marvel Future Fight Team. I have received notice from my sources in the field that the mutants are on the move. So those of us at Shield headquarters have begun an investigation into this sudden change in behavior. Um, our aim is to meet with them to discover the purpose of the spike in activity and enter negotiations about what this will mean in the future. Agents, please help me to identify these individuals. Once you've figured it out, please enter the correct answer in the link below. Uh, example, if you answer blah blah blah, uh, you just uh, do this in the address bar. I will be sure to update you once the results of the investigation are clear. Until next time, agents, thank you. So let's go right here, paste the link, and then go with Gene. Because, yeah, Jean Grey is one of them. And right here, you can see what the uh, the characters are. So you get Jean, Eric, and Logan. So all three of these are going to get uniforms. Uh, I, I really, really hate how Wolverine gets the same fucking uniform the whole time. I know in the comics, he always had that fucking costume with these uh, annoying, uh, this annoying look. Uh, Jean is gonna be interesting. I haven't seen her with this before. Uh, I know that uh, Eric will have the white you know, white uniform. Uh, he's gonna be like yellowish, so it's gonna be almost the same as the old uniform that we had. Not the old one, like the the base look, but the old uniform that we had. And uh, for Jean, it's gonna be totally different. I hope she has the Phoenix Force again, when uh, like that means she will be fully fire damage. So uh, that way she is gonna be uh, really good against the... Uh, I mean, I really don't know what I, what I wanted to say here, but I just... I don't know. I, I just really like that uh, she... Like, I would really like if she had uh, fire damage, but I think they changed their mind on that. I think they're gonna keep her as a mixed elemental damage character, so you're either gonna have uh, judgment or on her or you or you're gonna have rage but judgment kind of sucks because it doesn't really uh, work on Wolba's ultimate uh, but anyway if you read these as well uh, I don't know how well I can actually make this look maybe if I did this right here yep okay so right here you have powers of X uh, MFF 9.5 uh, 5.9.0 and then you have uh, behind my face here DD Reborn, <laughs> DD New World, DD Name Karoka or Krakoa. I, I really don't know what Krakoa is. Uh, I really didn't check. Maybe it means something. But on the top right corner, you have DD The World, DD of Xavier. Huh? Isn't that gonna be cool? I, I really hope Xavier just joins. And then there's like DD001 and D or not DD, this is actually 00, but whatever. Never mind me. 00011. And uh, you have down here D or why did I say DD? My bad. Uh, 00 and the 00 woman. 00 named 00 Moira.0. So. I don't know if you know Moira, but she's the, uh, I don't know, if, if you watch the movies, she's this agent who's, who meets uh, Xavier, she's uh, an archaeologist at, at, at some point, or she's just investigating the, the spot where Apocalypse, uh, I guess, got uh, uh, buried and also revived in uh, that uh, tomb, I guess. And the whole point is that she also has powers, but I really don't know how they're gonna make that work because her powers are really weird. Like she doesn't really have powers. She has the an ability. She has mutant abilities, but that ability is not really strong in in the sense that you would think. Like uh, from what I know, she can like um, 
revive, but not really revive. She can be reincarnated as the same person. So she she uh, gets born again at the same time as she got born before, but she keeps her memories. So so she, uh, every time she she dies, she gets reborn as a kid uh, in the past, and she keeps everything that has happened. She keeps keeps the memories. She's really smart. She's like an old person when she's a young baby. So I don't know how they're gonna make this work. Uh, it's really interesting, and I've saved the best for last. Uh, at the point when we got the f the first sneak peek, like 4 a.m. for me, um, the Twitter post was a bit different. It it used to say something sinister is coming, and you know who that is, Mister Sinister. Oh man, that is gonna be insane. I really I really can't wait for Mister Sinister. Uh, I really. Uh, used to like him as a villain. I loved uh, killing him on the Deadpool game, uh, the PC Deadpool game, that was really fun. So I don't know, this update seems to be really really cool. I hope there's not a lot of paywall characters. I hope there is one on the uh, Danger Room uh, pack, like the special training pack. I hope the missions for special training are not as hard as before because now it is really really hard to uh, like get the most damage or to get the most uh, skill uh, activations so I really hope that they change those danger room missions uh, to make it easier but yeah I hope one of the new characters is gonna be there uh, that is a really fast way to get them to tier 2 and uh, you know it's pretty cheap it's not that expensive uh, it's like 3,000 crystals worth because you get a thousand back so it's really cool and uh, anyway I'll leave you guys to the giveaway part of this video by the way the first keyword was gonna be a uh, mutant uh, but I forgot to mention it anyway I'll leave you guys to the giveaway part of this video right now I'll see you in a second okay cool so I got the video link and what was the what was the freaking Oh yeah, yeah, cool experience. I don't know if anyone actually got this. Oh, actually, three people did. So, <laughs> congrats on you guys. That was actually funny. Uh, I don't think a lot of them got it, but yeah, congrats. Let's see who wins this time. It's retroactive. I missed the free bios dump. By the time I logged into the game, all that was waiting for me was 20 exchange selector, and I think some mutant mats. My Cosmic Core offers so far were Feathers on Day 1, Shards on Day 2, and M Crown Crystals on Day 3. I missed the original Cosmic Core event when it was actually worth spending some crystals to roll for a Mega Tier 2 ticket, and it got everyone engaged in playing the game to mine that core energy because there was truly worthy a price since they changed it. Most people seem mad on it, and I don't care about getting old CDPs unless they are or unless they're a new newer player so not I don't care but they don't care anyway it's a cool experience watching your vids bro um thank you <laughs> I didn't expect that to go that way because I, I my uh, point on the cool experience was an ironic one but yeah thank you um, so I don't think the uh, mutant materials were from uh, Netmarvel uh, those are the ones that you get from doing Danger Room or from doing World Boss Ultimate and getting them on the chests. Uh, they did it that way so so that uh, you don't really get that message popping up every time you want to open a World Boss Ultimate chest saying like uh, your inventory is full and stuff like that. So they'll stay to uh, they'll stay in your inbox uh, yes section and until you can. Uh, free up some space or until you have uh, you're lower than the cap on those materials and then you can claim them but yeah I'm sorry all they give you was 20 X genes that's it <laughs> but yeah I missed it as well kind of sucks would have been cool to have some more bios because I counted I think I had like uh, 24 thousand uh, 
rank up materials so bios and exchange together but give or take like 3000 just to make sure that uh, you're not counting the uh, the bios or exchange that I want to keep like premium uh, characters uh, I should have like 20,000 so that is really really nice uh, let's say I, I waste like 6,000 to, to build uh, Odin then I'm still good I still have enough but anyway Thanks for watching dudes, uh, Retro, please PM me, I'll give you the coupon as soon as I can. And to everybody else, don't worry, we'll have another giveaway tomorrow. Uh, make sure you remember the first keyword from here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye!